I'm secretly hoping to add Belle to the Forest of Valor. Yes, I love Belle. She is my favorite Disney princess. Okay, so let's see. I need to go. I really like using the filter system. It's a lot easier to find items once you have a lot of items already. Okay, four on each side. I think that's good. I kind of want it to be a little bit open. I do want to continue this vibe, but I want to use the um, leafy pathway with the borders. So we're just going to kind of play around until we find something we like. And I was thinking of actually getting rid of this pathing right here. Oops. It's like really touchy. Might have to turn around a little bit here. All right, we're just gonna have to move that out of the way. I wanna get rid of this. So tell me, how are your storage, how is your storage decorated in everyone's game that's watching right now? I might have to craft more of these. I think I do have enough to do that. Oops, because I was thinking of filling this entire area in, so we're probably going to just like try that and like see what we, if we like it. I do want to like leave some spaces for, obviously like it's really cute, this tree trunk is there and like the open area and maybe put some flowers next to it. So we're just going to play with it a little bit. If you watched my last video, I showed how you can incorporate open areas of flowers into the pathing now with the borders. Oops. Oh, wow. It's not really letting me grab that. Right now I have my storage in the meadow in a cute little area. I had it next to my house, but then I changed my home to Cinderella's castle. Oh, nice. Okay. I like the meadow. It's like a centralized area. It's not too far. I always have to travel to the forest in order to get things out of my um, storage. So I like that idea a lot. Hmm. I think we're going to need quite a lot more of this pathing. Okay. Where is, okay, yeah, good. My, I've been moving my crafting table around a lot, so. Yeah, I'm a little bummed out that I wasn't able to stream on Twitch today. I'm trying to get to 75 followers there because I think they're like going to be incorporating that they pay you hourly. It's like way better than Twitch. Like, I've never even wanted to ever stream on that platform. They do not treat their creators properly. So I was like, nah, I think I'll just uh, do YouTube. And then if, like, a good streaming company comes up, then I'll try them out. But Twitch is just not, not it. 
especially with all the drama that's been going on lately. I love the new border pathing. Oh my gosh, me too. I a lot of people are complaining about it and I'm like, "Excuse me? Oh my gosh. Like I actually really like it. I do wish that they would have incorporated like a like a round like the ability to like for the path to be curvy. But I did kind of I think I have it up over here. I kind of figured out a way to do that. Like right here. I just have like a bunch of stuff like everywhere. See how I did that? So like that's the only way I figured out how to make it curvy, but I do love in particular the white brick one. Kelsey, I love your designs. I just started watching you. So thank you for having this fun space to chat. Oh my gosh. Well, welcome in. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you like my designs and welcome to the community. Oh yeah. Speaking of community, we are doing a, um, pretty soon we're right now we're voting on a biome to do like a decorating contest in and one winner is going to get a choice to choose an emote for my discord channel or um i think i might be offering a plaza map design for them so whoever wins will get to choose either or and then the runner up will just get whatever is left but um yeah join our discord we talk a lot about disney dreamlight valley there's a help section Everyone shares their outfit of the days. I think that's my favorite channel. And then um, we share our builds too. So feel free to join. Did you craft an extra mermaid crafting table from an Ariel quest? I love her table. You know, I do have that table. I actually did not take a look at it. Let's look at it. Or I think I bought it. Or did I craft it? I don't even remember. What It should be in functional, right? Where's that at? Maybe essentials? Well, I guess we could just look it up by Ariel. Yeah, I tried to stream yesterday, but that wasn't working out. And then today, like, Twitch was just like, no. Where's the little mermaid? Am I overlooking it? Right here. I could have sworn I crafted one. Hmm. Is it in tables? Okay. Essentials, maybe. Or it is blue. There's blue on it. I hope I didn't place it down somewhere in my valley and I'm just like mindlessly going through here looking for it. Or maybe I didn't craft it yet. I could have sworn I did. No, well, looks like I didn't. Okay, so let's see. I think we need to extend this here. I do love the aerial crafting table. I remember everyone was like so like heartbroken that we couldn't keep it. Um, I think this should probably be extended right here. I don't know why, but that's like bothering me, this extra space. Okay. So I also think we need to extend it the other way. Like this. Okay, so this is all filled in. Let's play over here with the tree. Yeah, I think that's just going to have to stay like that. It's too big to do a border around. You can border some of the trees, but. And then another thing I wanted to do, like, at the exit, almost. 
Let's see if we can do... I'm just going to kind of play because I don't really have an exact idea going into this. So we're just going to kind of play with it. Oopsies. Hi, Otter Girl. Welcome in. I only could find the aerial crafting table under all. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to look for it later. My husband just got you into gaming. I feel like an 80-year-old woman on this stuff. Ha, ha, ha. But I will try. <laughs> yeah. That's okay, Kelsey. We all, we all are. It's like they update this game quite frequently. So I think like having a lot of new ways to do things, like that's why I try to be helpful with the pathing with like, I normally stream the updates, but you really have to kind of just play. And then that's how you learn. Okay. So let's see here. I do want this to be like a transition area where it looks like decent because I have a plan for like back here. I'm not gonna be able to get to that today, but maybe in my next uh, kick stream I will. Um, okay, so I want to do this. Oops, I grabbed the wrong pathing. I wish the bordered paths were up at the top because <laughs> I'm probably not going to use the other ones too much anymore. Oops. So I think we'll start here and then we'll go this way. What I really liked, like one of my favorite designs from the path video I made was this small idea here. Like putting like cute little, the flower boxes I can't tell. I wonder if you could actually like border these like all around. Oh, this is cute. No way. This actually is working. Let's see if this actually works where it fits all the way around. If it does, I'm going to cry. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It is perfect. Look at this. We have like a cute little garden plot, like a little flower garden. I hope we have enough for the other one. I really like this. This is a vibe. Um, I think that one's like that. We'll probably go through and rotate them so they don't all look like, I don't know, like purposely placed there, you know? Okay, that is so cute. I'm actually obsessed with this. You keep passing it. I know. Oh, my gosh. I swear, like, I... Well, I'm... First of all, I'm, like, dyslexic. So, like, sometimes... But, like, with phonemes but also like with words. So like I'm already challenged with that. Um, but also there's just so many items. You can just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. So let's do like some rotation on these and see. We'll just kind of like make it like random. I don't like when things are like too symmetrical to it just doesn't look natural so we're just gonna go through and rotate 
Nope, that was good the way it was. I don't know. I don't really think it matters. Because there's like so much going on. That's okay. All right. So what are we going to put inside? I have lots of ideas for this. So this area is, um, I guess, the color palette. I'm just looking through my florals. I've already used these for fairy godmother's area. So I don't want to do that. But these would be cute. We're just going to play and we'll find some things to put down. I definitely want to stick to like florals and like natural things um, like these. I love the look of like the flower pots like spilled over. I think it's just so cute. So maybe in the middle and then we'll fix this one kind of rotate it. I like I'm facing this way. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. Maybe some flowers. Aren't there? There's like flowers that are only like one square. I forget which ones they are though. I need to fix this because it's really bothering me. There we go. This is adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay. But we can pull the butterfly flowers out. Because those go on the path. I always forget that only certain items can be put on the, on the path. We could also try the fern. I think that might be a little bit too big though. Oh, this is cute. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Okay, I think for the pumpkins, we're going to save these for, like, maybe over here. Like, maybe somewhere else. I don't know. I just got these, so I thought that they were cute. I'm going to put them away for a while, for a second. But the pumpkins on here would be cute, but I really want to go, like, the normal, um, the floral look. That would be so cute right there, but it's just like, no, you can't have that there. I don't get why some items are allowed on the path and others are not. We'll have to come back to that. Okay, so that's cute. And we can like do some like decor around it later, but I think we'll go. I might put the ones that I don't really, I'm not really ever like in these ones too much. So I'm going to start moving these ones over here. I'm thinking probably like, I don't know. Yeah, I would say over here would be good. So that will be the food one. This is like a whole thing. I love your designs on here. I hope to see you play House Flipper. I can imagine all the houses you would decorate would be amazing. Oh, thank you. I've never, um, I've heard of the game, but I haven't tried it out yet. Oops. And this is all subject to change, too, because if I don't like this, I'm going to move everything. <laughs> so who else has their storage outside like I do? 
Like, I, I think I've seen so many people put their storage. I'm going to add another trellis here and here. I've seen a lot of people put their storage inside and then they like label the areas and stuff. But like, and I think that's like super, super cute. But I don't want to have to go into my house to access my storage. Something like this. Do we have arch? Oh, that's cute. Oh, this is a vibe. Okay. So we have, I don't think I'm going to, I think I kind of want this just around the trunk, not as big. And maybe we'll put like some other things next to it, but I don't want it all the way out that way. Okay, I can see myself like using these. I think the most important ones should probably be on this side. So we'll start moving these over here. I also spent like all my dream light and all my, um, literally all my dark wood on crafting the large chests. So you have yours outside, Kristen. Zig, my house is in the plaza. I don't have room for it outside. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Kelly, hi, I love your videos. Thank you. Welcome in. WP, ain't no way. I'm going all the way inside to drop my stuff off when chess work outside. That is exactly my thought. That is exactly my thought. That's why I was so happy when they gave us these signs to label them because I am not going inside. I have like four floors and I would forget what room I put my storage in. Okay, this is good for now. I think what I need to do I need to, I need to run through it and I need to get a feel. I always say this in all my decorating tips videos, any speed build, you really need to run through your area and see how you like it. It will also give you some vision as to what you can add, what is missing. I honestly think this is working, but <clears throat> I'm wondering if I shouldn't move the chest like, can we do it over here? Like one space and then maybe put like some florals behind it to give like it some depth. I don't know. Put down. I don't know if I want to use this one, probably, because it matches everything. So what I'm thinking is moving everything up, like here, and seeing if that fits behind it. It does. OK. But will it fit? One, two, three. We could probably line all the trellises with this.
Okay, I guess we're just gonna try it and see what happens. This is definitely gonna elevate my ability to, like just the area of like, when you have to like put everything in storage, like I literally was just doing it. I was just doing it over here. It was boring, like I was not enjoying it. But when you have like a cute area, that makes it more enjoyable. Okay, it looks like this is working. I don't know if we need a mixture though. We'll see how this looks first. I also have way too many floors in my house. I mean, now you have lots of rooms for an interior inspiration. <laughs> it's very true. Maybe make an empty rectangle in the center and add your chest facing away from the house. Um, like, you mean like making an empty square here? I was thinking of doing like a fountain in the middle, but I don't know if we're gonna have room because I really want this area to be like practical, but we'll see. I do like this. And I think I have enough for this one. I think the tree is in the way now. Yeah, that's not gonna fit. That's okay, we can put something else over there. Like one of these cute little pots. Okay, let's see. Let's feel it out. Okay, yeah, I think this is better. Ooh, look at that view with like the tree right here. I like that. Is go ahead and like take like a couple out. So like this one will keep this one. Oops. Take this one out. Take that one out. And then we'll go in with this style. I really love this one. This is one of my favorite floral pots. Well, I guess they're called technically called floral rectangle. So I'm gonna rotate this one, and then I'm also gonna rotate this one. So it's like, it's like more of like a variety. It's not just like all the same. Okay. Um, oh, then long empty rectangles on each side of the fountain. That way when you walk through the archway trellis, you walk straight up to the chest if you want. Um, I think you can still walk over these right here. Like my whole reasoning for putting the chest here is because when I take a, a photo of this area, I don't really want the chest to be seen. I'm like all about like making sure it looks cute, like photographic wise, because I do plan on decorating this side of the, um, I guess like area. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're not there yet. <laughs> 
So let's go ahead and throw some of these over here. But I do like that idea. That's a really cute idea. I think we need to pull these out a little bit further. I do love that that the trunk is right there. Ugh, it's such a vibe. I love keeping these around. I think they're so cute. Okay, so we'll do I think just like this one and then where's the other ones at? I don't think it'll fit, will it? It will. Can we move this? No, we cannot. Can we move the tree? I really like that tree there, so I don't want to do that. Let's instead, we'll take that away and we'll put one of the round ones down. So, this one. Mm, I think it needs to be moved this way. There we go. And then we can always put something else there. Actually, I don't really like that there. I think this is where we... I think we're going to center this. And then we're going to do something on both sides. So, I guess that's not really centered, but... What if we do this? Ooh, I kind of like that. Yeah. I like that. Okay. <clears throat> so I have been holding on to this fountain for ages, and I told myself I'm going to be plastering my um, area with it whenever I use it. It is, of course, the Beauty and the Beast Fountain. Should come up with purple. Maybe not. It might not be practical, but it'd be neat if Gameloft gave us the options to add those logs and mushroom clusters and for decoration only. I agree. I think that that would be amazing. I mean, it's just like Animal Crossing, like when you are, a lot of people will use like weeds and flowers to decorate, like things that are naturally there or like um, controlling the tree as well. Okay, I need to run through and I need to feel this out. And I should probably save too. <gasps> this fountain, I actually have not like looked at it up close, but I love this. So like, oops. Whoa, I did not mean to go that far. Hmm. I don't know if this is working out the way that I want it to. But 
like in theory this is cute but what is bothering me is that there isn't this much spacing right here of course i could remove these and i could actually scooch everything down let's try that Okay, that worked. Hmm. This is not working for me. We might have to change that tree because I really like this so far. Let's see what other trees that are maybe smaller. I really like that tree there. We can always put it on the outside though. I don't have to be stuck on the idea. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move this up. And there has to be a tree. That we can put here that is smaller. I'm just going to move everything over. Spacing stuff really gets me sometimes. OK, so I did it a little bit too far. This needs to be rotated anyway. There we go. So we could even instead of putting the tree in this corner, we could like move it here if we need more room. What's it look like over here? It's still on the path. OK. Let's find a tree. It's too small. This one there, though. The birch tree. I like the birch trees. That one works, but I want a big one. I don't think it's going to work unless we move this one. This actually, hang on. Okay, all we had to do is move it over a little bit. And now we can do this and make it really cute. If I can get in there, it's so hard to see. There we go, let's see, I love this. Oh, it's not letting me put it under, there we go. Okay, I think that was like a pretty good compromise and we can always put something back there. I don't know what yet, but we'll figure it out. Because now we have like space right here. I kind of want to play with this a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. Oops. I was like envisioning putting flowers around this though. So oh, I, f I picked all those up.
Oh, this is a vibe. I need to rotate this, but let's see if... Let me drop those daisies. Oops. I'm so sorry. I've been playing Breath of the Wild all day today before I started streaming. And, uh... It's, like, different than the PlayStation controller. So I'm, like, hitting the wrong buttons. Here we go. Do these fit? No. The daisies, I think, are what we're going to have to use here. But we could also put other things. So maybe even just put... Oh, I have an idea. Of course. The butterfly flowers. I think those will fit, right? I don't know. Off the top of my head. We'll try. So like maybe just putting them in the corner. Hang on. And then we really do need to rotate this. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, yeah. So they really need to fix um, the, like, magenta-colored ferns. You can't put them on the path, but you can put these ones on there. Oh my gosh, I'm actually in love with this. Oh, it makes such a pretty sound too. So we definitely need like some sitting. I think we need like a bench or something, like the traditional bench. I'm kind of like all over the place with decorating today because I haven't, I'm kind of like winging this area a little bit. I had like a vision in my mind like, yeah, like I would like, to do something like this, but I didn't really know what. So I'm sorry I'm not as prepared as I normally am. I have like a sitting area. Maybe even moving this. So this is definitely like a cottage core. Um, I guess storage build. I don't really know what to call this. What do you guys think? I do. I think it is a glitch, Carly. I think you're right about that. So we have a, um, a few more things to do. I really want to do something right here. What if we... Let's look at our items. I don't even know. We're just going to go through and see what sparks our um, creativity. If anyone has any uh, suggestions, put it in the chat. For those of you that are just coming in, welcome.
I'm just kind of going through these and what one thing I like to do is I like to just go through the items and like put out whatever ones I feel like fit the vibe and then play with them. Okay, so we went through most of the items, and I think that a lot of these are going to fit the vibe, so we're just going to play, see what happens. I think if we're going to start over here, do I not have like a normal barrel? That kind of irks me. I always love incorporating the barrels into like every build that I have. So we might have to go craft one. I love the barrels. It just, it's such like a rustic vibe. Even though they cost a lot of dark wood to craft, but it's worth it in my opinion. Yeah, we don't have any, so let's go craft some. Cause I have an idea. This looks a mess, but we'll go through it. I think a cart would be cute. Let's craft one of these. Where are the barrels? I think I want a tool rack. Here they are. See if there's anything else in here that would be cute. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. I like this item a lot. Yeah. Uh, has anybody tried using these, the Touch of Magic uh, decor? I have a video up for it, and I thought it was really cute. But I I used um one for like, it was it was an interior build that I used it for.
Where's my tool? Just crafted that. We're going to play around with this a little bit. Oh, the cart. I forgot to put that out. <clears throat> well, welcome in to those who are just joining us. We're decorating a cottage core storage area. So excited to see a lot of people that I've interacted with in the comments on my past videos in the stream today. Thank you all for coming by. See, I was thinking either there or like at the back of the house. Mm, no, because it's not going. I was thinking of putting this like up against the house, but it's not working like that. So like something like this. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I want that hedge back. What is that under? Is that under trees? Yeah. And also... Looks like we need another trellis right here. Hey Joss, welcome in. Shout out to Joss, my mod. We had like a lot of technical difficulties <laughs> earlier, so I don't think all my mods are here. I, I wasn't, didn't have time to let everyone know that I'm on YouTube right now. Um, Kelsey, yes, I love it. I've made a couple rugs because the store doesn't have a new one. Oh yeah, I think, I think honestly, that was the best decision that they made is allowing us to create our own rugs like honestly there have been so many builds where it just looked like so unfinished hmm why isn't this letting me put this here hmm. I guess it doesn't look that bad out that's strange I guess we'll just do that. I'm wondering. I think we need more daisies. So let's go to our new storage area and grab some daisies. I don't remember what, uh, this one? I mean, we can just transfer the lot of them. Yellow daisy. I don't really think, I like the white ones. I'm just going to drop all of them over here. I normally do flowers last, but like this is like one of those times where you don't really have a choice on the flower because we need like one spot. Um, so. And I think we can like move this like up here I don't know I'm almost like also thinking that I should put more trellises along this way or did I say that right is it trellises or is it trelli <laughs> I don't know um 
we do need some lighting, so let's just let's do that until we figure out what we need to do here. Okay, so that's going to illuminate our path there, but <clears throat> I would like some lighting over here. Do I have more of those? Yeah, I was like, wait a minute when I saw the red dot. <laughs> yeah. Lurkers, like the stream, 14 of us and only six likes. Oh, Carly, thank you. <laughs> I understand that some people just kind of like watching people stream they, and then like a lot of people actually don't have like a YouTube account so they can't subscribe which I think is kind of silly but I understand how that works as well but yeah if you like this video thank you and I mean just thank you for being here with me I appreciate everyone's time. Yeah, I think uh I think that should the lighting looks like. Yeah, this isn't bad. I like the lighting right here a lot. All right, let's see what else we can put down. Oh, I should probably change it back to daytime. Um... I really can't wait until we're able to like visit each other's valleys. That'll be so much fun, right guys? Guys and gals. I was thinking of putting this somewhere in here. I don't know. This is more of like a beachy vibe, I think. Hi Gabby. I feel that I play on Switch and it crashes when I'm in build mode. Yeah, I've heard there's a lot of issues with Switch, unfortunately. Like, I'm, like, almost all the time, so my valley is not decorated at all. That does sound very frustrating. I uh, started out playing on the Xbox, and then I was, like, a little bit frustrated with, like, the controller. Like, the UI with decorating with the controller. But, like, my first, like, four builds I did on the Xbox... And then I realized that I could, like, transfer everything over to the PC, and I, I had, like, a PC just sitting there. So, and ever since I did that, I swear by it, if you can transfer to the PC with, for this specific game, do it, because the decorating is so much easier. And it's still frustrating sometimes. Okay, there's something missing right here. This is like bothering me. Can I move this? I just want like something right here. What if we... I think it's thundering out right now or something. <laughs> yeah, that looks better. Okay, and I don't think we're going to use the picnic table. But I do want to put the cart down. 
Where shall we put the cart? I don't like that we can't, like, why is this space occupied right here? Why can't I put something directly up against the house? You know, it's, it's kind of annoying. Okay, what if we do this? Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. And then maybe, um, maybe some pumpkins somewhere. Okay, this area is so cute. Look at this. I do think I need to switch these, though. Like, pull this up, up here. And then put the sign here. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, we need to figure out what to put here because this area is like really bothering me. I was thinking, let's see if this works. I don't know if it's going to work. Maybe like a little flower bed, but I don't think it's going to allow me to put anything there, but we'll try. Yeah, it's not going to let me. That would be so cute though. Ugh. Oh, all the things that I would like. I'm gonna pull, let's see. That's cute. Well, since we can't do it that way, then we can do something like this instead. We can do some stuff in the middle. Um, I want another one of those blue. I think I need, oh, here we go. So this was one of the ideas on, for the new pathing, you can actually remove parts of the bordered path and you can make your own little flower bed inside, which I thought is really cute. But I think I want some different flowers. So I'm gonna grab some, cause we have a lot of daisies already out and about here <laughs> so let's go uh, grab some other flowers i was thinking maybe some of the forgotten lands flowers too like the purple ones since you know our cottage is like that dark blue purple type of vibe i think we should do the white ones in the middle oh we were trying to do the bell flowers um yeah white ones in the middle and then we'll do the purple forgotten lands flowers on the outside I like it okay so I'm going to have to pick up all those flowers later. <laughs> I'm just realizing. But maybe we can do... Just start adding in like the little details of the build.
I think this is like one of my favorite spots right here. What if we did some, okay, so in the front of my house, I have some like white fencing. What if we did some white fencing back here? I don't know if it'll fit, but let's try it. Maybe. Oh, it does. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so it does a little bit. Like that. I like it. I think that's cute. I wonder if the fencing would work right here. Probably not. I really want to put something right here, but this game just says like, no, you can't have what you want. Yeah, it would only let us put it like right up here. But I wish we could put something up against the house right here. So we're going to have to find some type of item that will actually work right there. And I think that's what we're going to try to focus on now. Hmm, like maybe a table. I mean, it's, like, a bit frustrating that, I don't know, like, what about, like, a, a table and a chair? You can just sit, have coffee in the morning. That would be lovely. Um, seating. I don't know, what chair? You have a lot of options. I don't think we really need to design one because this whole area is just like pretty neutral. It's not like we need anything special. Maybe just this one. And at least like it takes up some space right there. I don't know. If we come up with anything else, we will do it. But maybe like a, I don't think I'm going to use these. Let me make sure I can still get into my house and, like, not run into that orchid. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. So, I definitely want to craft, like, maybe, like, a latte or something to, like, and, like, maybe a book and something or something to put on the table. But I think we're done with this area right here. So, we could put a flower. I wonder if a flower would fit over there. No. Oh, it fits right there. Okay. Okay, so let's focus on, because we can do that stuff later, but let's focus on over here now. We do need to figure out what to put here and here and like in this area. I wonder. That's cute. And then maybe like a bucket. And another flower or something. Like the little, I like the Venus flytrap. I think it's a cute item. Like that. 
Isn't there a different bucket? I think this bucket doesn't really match. There's another bucket. It's like the birch bucket. I hope I have it. I know it's brown. Hi, Melissa. Welcome in. How are you today? Oh, the Norwegian spruce bucket. That's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, this item is really cute. And then we need something over here. I was thinking just like a crate or something. Nothing too crazy. Like there. And then maybe uh, one of these. All right, I think we're putting the pumpkins in here. I love that squash, it's so cute. Do I have another uh, pumpkin thing maybe? I think it's under, well, it definitely, definitely is blue in it. Actually, it might be under here. Oh, I forgot about this. I like these. There we go. I might need to craft another one of these. I really like it. It's a vibe. But maybe we could put it over here. Because I don't think we can put anything right there. Let's see. Yeah, because the house, for some reason, they won't let you put anything up against the house. I've been complaining about that all stream. I'm sorry. I'm still mad about it. I thought about putting an easel out here somewhere, but I just don't think, like... I don't really know if it would work because I I'm like a painter and I love painting but I just don't think we have room for it and that's okay we can't like fit everything I mean technically we could put it nope we can't put it there just kidding gotta get another fern out we're almost done Thanks for everyone who st who has been watching this entire time. You forever have my heart. Please join the Discord. Join our join the official Discord. I think it should be in the description. If it's not, let me know. Um, but we are. I am going to be holding a decorating contest in my Discord. I think this is looking good over here. What if we just put bring one of these over here? Like, will that block my... I never go in that chest anyway. That's okay. Okay, so I think we're good with that. What are our thoughts? Maybe some wood over here? Mm, nah.
I'm pretty happy with this. Let me get rid of some of these items. Okay. Um. I do think we should add in more daisies here. And, hmm. That's not going to work. I was thinking maybe adding, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good th like this, though. Let's just add in more daisies. So, like, one, like, right here. Like, up here. Ah. Okay, I think the only thing left to do is add our book and craft. Or do I have like some coffee? Or I want to add something on the table. Oops. Let's see. Oh, I have a latte. So we'll drop that and then I think we'll go ahead and put a book down. You know, so we can just kind of like read and sit out in the garden. Um, I think it's under miscellaneous. Why am I not? Okay, it's at the very bottom. That's why I wasn't seeing it. Maybe like a stack of books. And then we can put our, well, we'll put the books over here. And we can put our latte down. What do you guys think of the build? Did we do okay? I have to say, I think this is my favorite area right here. It's just like a little clutter core garden area. I do need to rotate this flower though. Oops, and then make this one go like this. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking, Melissa. Okay, so, um, I think we're pretty good with like the inside I want to run around it and like kind of run around our cottage and see how it feels like what it looks like so let's start out here yay oh this is pretty oh I love this view And then now we have like a cute area to put all of our stuff away when we're cleaning the valley. Oh, it just got really foggy. <laughs> and we got our fountain in the middle. We have all these. These are like the more important uh, storage boxes. And then this area, which is my personal fave. I love this area right here. The fog looks really cool in this game though, right? And then all that matches, pretty much matches the front of the house. And then, so here's another entrance, right? Yeah, we can sit. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I think I like this area more than I actually envisioned. So like, what is that meme where it's like, oh, this exceeded my expectations. Okay. Yay. I do love these. I might actually, 
I might make like more of these. This was like one of the first parts. Um, the first things that we did on the stream today is we made these little garden areas with like the rustic cases all around. And I actually really love this. But I may I might make like smaller ones or just like continue them out. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but I really like this. I was thinking of hang on, let's play. I was thinking of just adding fencing because I am gonna do a different theme. So like this is like the cottage core garden and storage area, but I wanted to do a different theme for out here. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is I am gonna move these flowers and we are going to add some fencing, I think, just so we're ready to do our next um, build. I don't know. Maybe I need to spread this out a little bit. Actually, yeah, we're just going to leave it for now because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this area. So it makes sense to wait anyway. I have to pick up all these flowers. <laughs> okay, well, here is the completed area. I wish it wasn't foggy right now so you could see it better, but it kind of looks cool in the fog too. I'll do a top-down view. There's top-down. And we really try to stick to our color palette and match our front yard, which we decorated about, I think it was like a month ago. <clears throat> but here's the view from that. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I will likely, um, I mean, we pretty much just worked on this the whole stream. So I'm just going to make a thumbnail, a cute thumbnail. And this will be our, I guess it's not a speed build, but our tutorial. If you ever want to follow along, you can rewatch if you're coming in late. Um, thank you all so much for coming out to my channel and hanging out with me while I decorate. Beautiful. So glad you kept those pumpkins in the outside gardens. Yeah, me too. Melissa, I decorated my plaza with the lights from Red Panda. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. I think I bought those. Carly says, looks so pretty. Thank you, Carly. Thank you, everyone who came out. If you enjoyed your time here with me today, consider joining our Discord. And it's a really safe, all-inclusive, cozy community. Um, if you haven't liked this video or subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate all any love that you can give. Um, if not, that's fine too. I'm just happy that everyone was here with me today. But I am going to end the stream. Um, I'll show the night view before I end the stream. But I just want to say bye to everyone and thank you so much for watching.